in today's video uh, we will be discussing how to calculate uh, weight of water in a water tank that tank can be uh, of uh, plastic uh, or pvc water tank that are uh, usually available in the market as can also be seen in uh, in the picture a black water tank uh, is there but uh, in most of the constructions uh, usually done uh, in today's uh, homes uh, we prefer to build rcc water tanks <clears throat> and mostly they are in the shape of uh, a rectangle or a perfect cube or square so irrespective of any shape there are simple steps uh, if you follow these steps uh, irrespective of any shape whether it be cylindrical rectangular or cubical shape uh, the weight of water can be calculated very easily in a, in the construction of any facility calculations for water weight in tanks is very important it does not require any unique skills rather it is very simple to find the water weight in a tank you just have to follow these simple steps uh, to calculate the weight of water in a tank uh, i have distributed uh, this whole procedure into three steps uh, the first step uh, should be to calculate the volume of tank according to its shape if it's uh, rectangular then obviously the volume of tank will be length into width into height if it is cylindrical its volume will be pi r square into h obviously if it's if it's, if it is cubical it will be length raised to power 3 then after uh done when after you are done with step 1 uh you should move to step 2 where you, you should be knowing the unit weight of water it is actually a fixed value uh, which can be found on uh, uh, from any uh, reference book or from google so uh, if you are following uh, fps system then uh, the unit weight will be 62.43 pounds Uh, per feet cube and if uh, you are following other uh, unit system uh, the unit weight of water will be uh, 9.807 kilo newtons per meter cube and once you are done with step 1 and step 2 uh, then finally you, you in step 3 you simply have to multiply the values obtained from step 1 that is the volume of the tank with the values of the step 2 that will be unit weight of the water to understand these simple three steps uh, we, uh, we will we should we should uh, uh, see this example here the height of the water tank is 6 feet whereas the diameter of the water tank uh, is 5 feet as given on the right hand side under the diagram so the first step obviously uh, the volume of the water tank uh, that will be uh, calculated as per this square box volume is equal to uh, area of this water tank into height so the area of a cylindrical shaped object is pi r square into h here the value of pi is 3.14 the value of r will be d by 2 here diameter is 5 feet so obviously radius will be 2.5 feet when we will divide this 5 feet by 2 so it will become 2.5 that will be our radius and height of the water tank that is given as 6 feet so when you multiply these quantities we get volume of this tank to be 117.8 cubic feet now comes the second step that is unit weight of the water that is again shown here uh, as we are following the uh, fps system so the unit weight of water that will be a constant value as 62.4 pounds per cubic feet so our final step was to multiply these two quantities so 
117.8 multiplied by 62.4 we get answer 73.72 pounds so in order to calculate this value from pounds to kg we need to divide this value with 2.204 so after dividing this answer with 2.204 our weight will be 3335 kgs so if you want your answer in tons then we know 1 ton is equal to 1000 kg so 1 kg should be equal to 1 divided by 1000 so this answer when divided with 1000 we get weight of this uh, weight of water in this water tank as 3.335 tons and finally if the shape of water tank is rectangular then its volume will be calculated as length into width into height and rest everything during calculations will be same unit weight of water will remain same when we multiply that unit weight with the volume we will obviously get the answer in pounds we have to convert that into in kgs and again if you want answer in tons you have to divide by 1000 and your answer will be the required weight of water in that rectangular shaped water tank but if the shape of uh, water tank is cubical then uh, the volume will be calculated as length raised to power 3 so this volume when multiplied with unit weight of water we will get total weight of water in that specific tank so again the rest of the steps will be same so you have seen that calculating the weight of water irrespective of any shape is very simple very easy and you can follow these three simple steps uh, on any construction project to solve this very basic and simple issue